Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to fetch uh, information or data from website into your Google Sheet and it will be updated uh, when the data on that website changed. Uh, so uh, this is a basic web scrubbing features of uh, Google Sheet. So let's dive in to the Google Sheet. Uh, if we want to uh, uh, open a new Google Sheet, we can write sheet.new and press enter. And the, this is the, our Google Sheet. Okay. Uh, I want to, for example, I want to uh, fetch information from investing.com and for this case I want to get Google data in my Google sheet uh, and uh, financial in this case I want to ratio financial ratios of Google stock in my Google sheet so this is a table, okay? This is a table uh, that I want to import to my Google Sheet. Uh, there's two formula in Google Sheet. One formula is import HTML. Another formula is import XML. So for this case, this is a table and uh, import HTML is so easy to use uh, and after that I will explain how to use import XML which is uh, a more advanced feature of the web scrapping in Google Sheet. So import HTML, import HTML, okay? so. The first index is URL. The URL is this. Is this. We can copy this URL. And keep in mind that you have to write quotation mark before and after every entry in these formulas. Go one quotation mark and another quotation at the end and then comma so another parameter of the import html which is query uh there's some kind of queries one query is table another is list and so on in this case we have a table in this html okay and uh, so we can write table table so keep in mind that write the quotation mark before and after table table and then comma index in index means which table do you want to import in your Google sheet if you see this HTML there's a uh, different uh, table so we have to mm, uh, try different uh, values to find our table we can start from zero table zero table this is not what we want we can change it to one And this is not what I want. We can't change it to two. Now, this is not what I want. And three. Yes, this is exactly what I want. So, this table is fetched. And if this integer in this page if it is changed 
so uh, the Google Sheet will be changed and you don't need to go to that page to see the values. So in other cases uh, you may want to want one just a specific number specific. Uh, for example I want just this the PBE ratio uh, of the company okay so we can do this uh, in another way I want to delete it so right click right click on the this integer inspect and click inspect so you can right click on this and copy copy X path X path okay so let's import XML okay this is our fir first parameter which is this quotation mark and, and comma X path X path we can copy the X path quotation mark do not forget to do this okay so attention to this in X path there's also a quotation mark that you can change it there's two kind of quotation so you can change it to one okay before uh, because if we don't change it it will not uh, uh, get it add, uh, as, as a, a parameter for X path in import XML so I have changed it to this before that it was this which is uh, not uh, recognized as our X path so we, we have to change it to this okay and uh, we can oh yes parenthesis and enter so it it get all the columns all the columns uh, of this table into our Google sheet so sometimes you may not want all of the columns you can get it copy the full X path of this and enter yes the f in this case uh, you, you have to use the full X path instead of X path you know why because the X path may be uh, some kind of parameter is uh, HTML code uh, will be the same as other table if you copy the X path uh, it may uh, import or fetch other other similar X path in the web page that you don't want if you copy the full X path you will be get uh, uh, you will get the exact number you want so we can try another website for example Yahoo Finance market for example SMP SMP this is X, uh, SMP and uh, we can copy the URL and replace it with and with the old one so 
uh, we can right click on this the number that I, we want and click ins inspect and we can copy the full path okay So, in this case, you don't need to uh, copy the full XPath. You can copy the uh, just XPath. Copy the XPath into our, okay, and change it to one quotation, okay and enter done you know uh, I do uh, I deliberately do these formula and uh, because you uh, I, I want you to know that in some cases you have to copy the full XPath in other cases you have to copy just XPath and in uh, some cases you can uh, use import HTML. In other cases you can use import HTML, import XML. So uh, uh, this is the basic feature of Google Sheet. And uh, in other videos I will show you uh, the advanced feature of web scrapping of Google Sheet, which is awesome. You can write uh, JavaScript code, which is not so difficult and uh, you just can copy and paste the formula uh, the codes in your script and uh, it will work uh, thank you for watching and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, to be updated about the new uh, features of uh, anything Google Sheet anything uh, which is related to tech and uh, thank you for watching